let's go to exercise number 228 and in this exercise we will learn multi thickness shell feature okay now look all dimensions are in millimeter material alloy steel density is 777 kg per cubic meter okay this is your main model this is front view and this is section view you will see you will see the outer body diameter 180 mm and the thickness you will see in section view 50 mm you will see here then there are four number of cutouts see you will observe here with the small hole you will observe from here these cutout depth 20 mm there is a one center hole also this 24 mm but the main thing is this you will see here these thickness 3 mm but these thickness 5 mm how you can do you can do with shell multi thickness feature okay let's do how to do this settings with the help of shell feature so first we will make the outer one body and uh, this cut out 45 mm distance from here to this end 65 mm okay then there is one curve cut out you will see here 65 200 mm but center to uh, angle 45 degree all four numbers let's do this first front plane is sketch now activate here circle and click on center point and drag your mouse and place somewhere with the help of left mouse right click select and out activate smart dimension 180 mm okay exit go to extruded boss base feature and extrude here start condition keep same direction 1 this is direction 1 now here let's apply end condition blind and thickness 50 mm say okay and here we go now again i am going to okay you will see here at corner there is a chamfer 45 degree see 10 into 45 degree this is uh, first we will make chamfer then we will apply cut chamfer now here first chamfer type angle distance 10 45 degree either choose face or edge let's say face okay now select this face is sketch now select this outer circle convert entity no need to draw again activate circle right click exit activate line tool and start from this end point to here similarly again activate line tool connect from here to here is smart dimension this distance 65 okay this center distance 44 45 mm okay but this is not in center so press and hold shift key select these two points and make relation vertical look it seems fully defined now i am going to choose here trim active activate power trim just press and uh, press and hold the left mouse and drag see this is trimmed drag over line and it's trimmed similarly this line now we have one close profile activate extruded cut feature and here start condition same end condition keep blind and depth 20 mm say okay this again i am going to select this face is sketch now select this outer edge click convert entity so no need to draw now here activate three point arc this is important connect from this point to this point exit is smart dimension radius 200 and center to center 60 less is 65 45 okay 65 and let me do one thing center line and click center line from here to select the midpoint okay 
smart dimension now select this line and select the center point if you select center point you will see this triad now select this one and create angle 45 degree similar actions i am going to take trim entities here select power trim press and hold left mouse and drag and see we have a close profile again the same feature extruded cut feature now this time i am going to choose through all through all means this is going to cut from this face to end of the body now let's activate here circular pattern because all are in same number so first let me choose direction so direction either choose any axis or any circular edge so i am going to select this circular edge fine e equal spacing 360 degree four number of instances i want now feature i am going to select this one and this one you will see here two features selected you will see the preview say okay look now at center there is a counter bore hole through 30 uh, diameter through all and counter bore diameter 65 and depth 20 fine then we will apply shell feature this thickness 3 mm and 5 mm all these things so let's do i am going to go with hole wizard now here one option called legacy hole this is easy now type counter bore okay first this is the main diameter center one 30 mm that's fine depth because here we selected through all so no need to define depth if you choose here blind then you can edit whatever length let's say 50 okay fine now the counter bore diameter 65 depth 20 this is by default because i already practice here that's why it's come here go to position now you have to choose one face so select this face and place at center click right click select and out now let's check see now let's apply shell feature now first depth 3 mm and i am going to choose this face okay but here one more thing multi thickness setting this is important now i want to apply thick 5 mm thickness these three faces so i am going to choose those faces which is going to thick 5 mm so i am going to select 1 2 3 and here apply 5 mm show preview uncheck let's see okay now section view okay okay this is still not uh, clear so again we will go and edit sometime it see this is not change so click here and change 5 okay again this is sometime error happens what what we can do the outer face clear and again i am going to select 5 mm okay done see here these thickness 5 mm these are 3 mm see we done now let's add hole here 24 at this now activate extruded cut feature and for this i am going to use through all end condition circular pattern feature let's select this feature now this time i am going to select axis now here activate temporary axis now let's select this center see this temporary center axis of the body and you will see the preview 
फोर नंबर ऑफ होल्स थ्री सिक्सटी इक्वल स्पेसिंग ओके लुक वी डिड नाउ यू कैन सिंपली हाइड ड्रॉप डाउन एंड क्लिक एंड हाइड टेम्पररी एक्सेस ओके लुक देर इज अ चैम्फर टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एंड दैट्स इट यू सी इन आर अदर व्यू angle distance here 2 into 45 and i am going to select these ends okay now right click on material edit material and here go to steel alloy steel now look uh, mass density Double seven double zero kg per cubic meter. This is your density. Apply, close, and this is your material. Let's see. Don't forget to share and like our video, and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.